Man, Sony turns down multiplayer for days gone. Where's the outrage? <laughs> What's up everybody, it is the Best Spot Kid Smooth and I am back with another video. So it looks like Sony had the opportunity, the grand opportunity to add a multiplayer component to Days Gone. Word on the street is, according to the CEO at Saber Interactive, they've reached out to Sony about collaborating with them to add a multiplayer to Days Gone. You might ask yourself, well, why do Saber Interactive want to work with Sony for Days Gone to multiplayer? What do they have in common? You guys might have missed this. I don't know if you heard of Saber Interactive uh, upcoming game, World War Z, based off the, 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 the novel or that movie that, what's that? big actor played in with all those zombies running all crazy they got a game i did a reaction video some months back this summer uh, about the game i thought it looked very interesting with all those crazy ass zombies running really rampant and fast and it's, it's, a, it's a whole team of you guys just shooting them all up and uh looks like a a, a cool concept for co-op and uh, i like i like zombies i like and i like a lot of them coming at you and you might ask yourself, well, that's not the first time you've seen a whole swarm of zombies running at you in a video game. The other uh, time you probably saw that was the Days Gone reveal trailer where they had all those zombies just coming in here. He blew up the fence and all those zombies came running in and just took out a whole freaking posse of people and whatnot and like, and like that. It just looks very interesting. So apparently the guys over at Saber Interactive when they saw that trailer, they said, you know what, we need to reach out uh, to Sony and see if we can partner up with them and, and pretty much merge our games together. Um, the CEO, Matthew, uh, Saber CEO, his, his name is Matthew Karch. He told uh, Gamesbeat how he pretty much approached Sony. He says, at some point, I went to Sony and said, I've seen what you're doing with Days Gone. Look what we're doing with World War Z. Maybe we can help you with the multiplayer component, but they were obviously too focused and understandably so on what they needed to do to get that game out. In other words, Sony said, fuck the bullshit. You know, we don't do multiplayer. We do campaign. We want that cinematic. We want that Ellie shit. We want that Aloy shit. We want that Kratos shit. We want playing by yourself. Sad shit. Just playing. Saw jokes. But apparently, obviously, their focus was on something else. And as you can see, now that we learn more about Days Gone after time went by, it, I don't even believe the game is actually about the zombies itself or let alone about the swarms. I just think that's a a component of what you experience, something that will occur from time to time, but it's not really heavily focus on that game i highly doubt the boss fight is a swarm of zombies or, or a mutated zombie it's probably some regular asshole with a gun <laughs> that you're gonna probably have to kill to finish off the game um like most of these games end up being um but i think the swarm is, is just a, a part of the environment and um and, and that's definitely so but when you look at both games, when you look at World War Z and you look at Days Gone, you can see why uh, Saber Interactive would reach out to Sony or Sony Ben and about trying to put those two ideas together because in some ways the games do sort of complement each other as far as as far as zombies go. But when you look at it, should have Sony added this? Sure, it would have been cool to have more to do in Days Gone after you beat it or have a co-op experience or, you know, do a different, you know, multiplayer or something different than TDM, you know what I mean? Um, I think it would, um, I think it would have been interesting now, should Saber Interactive been the ones to do it? I don't know, probably not. World War Z, the concept seems cool, but the game itself looks very generic and very uninspiring. I do, uh, I am interested in playing it and trying it out when it comes out for Xbox, PlayStation and PC, but it's it's not on the top of my list like that. But it does look interesting. But then again, looking deeply at the gameplay, it looks very generic and that it feels like it, it could get old pretty quickly. As far as days gone, as long as Sony delivers a great story, the gameplay looks cool. Graphically, it looks cool. Um, there's some concerns I have with it. 
but nothing that's gonna really stop me from getting this game day one but it, it, it's cool to to know that hey there that this was a possibility Sony turned it down for whatever reasons they, those reasons weren't revealed um, maybe wasn't a part of uh, their plans um, but we'll see when uh, the game releases so uh, check out World War Z when it releases and Days Gone does is due April I believe 26th or April 29th of uh, 2019 that is one of my most anticipated games of the year of 2019 so um, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that let me know your thoughts on this should Sony have taken that deal like should Sony have uh, worked with another studio to include multiplayer in Days Gone would it have been something you'd be interested in? are you even interested in Days Gone let me know in the comment section below by hitting that like button and um, you know making sure you retweet this thing out and share it out so I got for you guys Kiss Smooth aka the best spot See you guys soon. Peace.